This is the unboxing and full review of 8849 Tank Menu 1, and this is a compact powerhouse. Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. Welcome, and welcome back to Gadget Rev Now. Rugged phones are usually built like a tank because it protects the internals of the phone, and normally you don't have to put cases on it. All these phones are probably on the mid-range category because people who needed this phone don't need too much power and features, but more of protection. But what if you get a rugged phone that is compact and has good features on it? Today we're reviewing 8849 Tank Mini 1, a compact rugged phone that has a lot of good features. Is this phone worth it? We will unbox it, talk about the features, and do a full review. Let's go to work. First we will do the unboxing and talk about the features, but if you'd like to jump to the other parts of the video like the user review, I will leave the timestamp on the description below. First, let's do the unboxing and I would like to thank 8849 for sending us this phone for review. But as always, this will be an independent review of Gadget Rev now. At this point, if you watch some of my Unihertz or 8849 videos, you would probably know I like this company because they create unique phones that cater specific niche people who wanted to use phones on a very specific purposes. As we check the boxes like the 8849 Tank and Jelly series combined together, a small compact rugged phone. So without further ado, let's open the box. Wow, on top we have the 8849 Tank Mini and I can tell you right now, I'm super excited because the size is so small. I've never seen a rugged phone this size. It's even smaller than already compact Pixel 8. We have the usual paperwork, the warranty and the user guide if you wanted to read the parts of the phone and the warranty coverage. We also have a white 33 watts fast charger and thumbs up for those manufacturers that still gives away chargers out of the box. We also have a typical fast USB Type-C charging cable. And we also have a SIM tool at the bottom of the box. I think that's it for now. Let's check out the new 8849 Tank Mini. Well, this is super good looking. It looks like the baby of the Unihertz Tank series. I still have the Unihertz Tank 1 and it's like half of what it is. Maybe not even, maybe around 30 to 40% of the tank size. I should say that the thickness is almost the same due to its construction, built, and battery, so it's a little bit bulky for a super compact phone, but this phone is easy to hold in one hand. Looking on its design and build, you have the metal finish at the back, where you would find the logo 8849, you have the LED lights, flash, and the camera module. On one side, you have two red physical customizable buttons that's flushed for non-accidental touches and the power button that also acts as your fingerprint sensor. We have the USB charging port and headphone port at the bottom that is sealed by a rubber cap. On the other side, you have the volume button that's a little bit protruding and that's fine because sometimes you need to know which button is which. And on top, you have the laser range finder and IR blaster which is pretty cool if you need these features on a smartphone. The SIM slot cannot be opened by fingernail like the feature we love on the Tag series so they've included a SIM ejector tool for this phone. I think that's it for the quick look and detailed unboxing. Now let's set up this phone for the first time, talk about our first impression, and everything you need to know about the new 8849 Tank Mini. Let's talk about all the great features of this 8849 Tank Mini 1. While we're setting up this phone, you would see the screen, and the first thing you'll notice is the water drop notch on the selfie camera. This house is a Samsung 32 megapixel sensor and you would also see a little bit of bezels on the screen. The screen size is 4.3 inch LCD screen with 540 to 1200 resolution. So this is what the home screen looks like and it feels like an AOSP Android launcher. The dimension of the screen is in between iPhone 4 and iPhone 5 which is 4 and 5 inches respectively. Feels like we're going back to those days where the smartphone screen are not that big. Holding the red accent key on the side, you will have access to the flash and filler lights. If you're familiar with the Unihertz Tank series, this is more of a camping stuff, but imagine you all have this feature on a smaller rugged phone. These red accent keys or shortcut can be found on the settings menu, and you can change the way it functions from one click, double click, and long press. Checking the My Device area on the settings, you would see that it's running on Android 13, and you already have 256 gigs of storage on a small phone. The rear camera is a 100 megapixel sensor that is using pixel binning technology and has 24 gigs of RAM, 12 of those are extended RAM from the storage. This phone also packs 5800 milliampere battery that is big for its size. There's also two IMEI numbers that suggest this phone has dual SIM capability. Let's check the camera really quick. These are my initial impression and I will give a full user experience of the camera. The image has a lot of information on the charger and you will even see this on the letters on the manual. So it's good to know that you will have a usable camera on this phone. 
checking the video settings of this phone, you can record up to 2K. So although it's not 4K video recording, but at least it's not Full HD. Video recording also supports EIS or electronic image stabilization, and you can turn this on on the settings menu. The video format can be H.264 or HEVC, so make sure when you're editing the footage of this phone, you have the right format of the software. Looking on the photos menu, this phone can actually shoot raw. If you need to color grade your images, you can do this after shooting the images. I think that's it for the initial impression of the camera. Now let's connect this phone to our Wi-Fi 5 network and we will download Geekbench 6 and test the speed of Tank Mini 1. Also to make this test more interesting, I would do a side-by-side -side speed test of the older and bulkier Tank 1 to see if this phone is faster than the bigger sibling. Alright, looking at the single core and multi cores, you can definitely see that it is faster than Tank 1, 705 in single core, and 2040 in multi cores. This phone is running on MediaTek Helio G99, which is a really good processor for a mid range phone. This phone can be a solid backup, travel, camping, work, or even gaming phone, and I will test this on our full review. But with our initial benchmark test, this is so much better than Tank 1, so if you're looking for an upgrade or you want a smaller, rugged phone, then this might be a perfect phone for you. Let's talk about the most unique feature of this phone which is the rangefinder. This basically calculates the distance of an object from you. This phone can be used on construction and road work and I can see that this phone will be useful on a lot of construction work since this is a small rugged phone that has a rangefinder feature. And for our last feature, this phone has a side mounted fingerprint sensor and testing it to unlock the phone, it is fast and accurate. So I think that's it for the unboxing and first impression of Tank Mini 1. We will test this for a few weeks and we will give you a full user experience of this phone. I've been testing this phone for almost two weeks now and this is our full user review of Tank Mini 1. First, let's talk about the performance of Tank Mini 1 and I've been using this phone for almost two weeks now. This performs like any other mid-range phones I have. It opens the apps and games really quick and the games will perform as they should. You may not get the highest graphic performance but you would be able to play on this compact phone. When it overheats, you may feel a little bit of stuttering on the gameplay and I'm having a hard time clicking on the controls and looking at the screen at the same time because the screen size is small but it is doable if you have a smaller hands. Mobile Legends is playable on this phone, Candy Crush, Subway Surfers, and other light games will be a breeze. I can see this phone as travel, gaming, backup phone because you can bring this anywhere because of its size. Also, there's a healthy 256 gigs of storage that you can put a lot of application, games, and even movies. If you want to travel and if you want to watch content on this phone, you can also download a lot of music if you need to. The camera of this phone is also solid. I was actually surprised and pretty happy with the performance, especially knowing that this is a rugged phone. Normally, manufacturer will neglect the camera performance, but not on 8849 Tank Mini. The colors of the images are on the natural side. I love that the images are clear with less noise and the white balance is on the neutral side. Here's the sample images for you to appreciate more. Just in case you're wondering, this is the TikTok style portrait mode video on Tank Menu 1. Yeah, if you're traveling or vlogging, I think it's good enough. This is vlogging or video recording capability of Tank Menu 1 using the selfie camera 720p at 30 fps. This is not the highest resolution on a smartphone or a rugged phone, but I think this is good enough. This is the rear camera 1080p or Full HD at 30 fps. Sadly, I cannot vlog using this camera because of the crop factor. It's too cropped in for a handheld vlogging style. But if you're using a monopod, this is doable. You can vlog yourself with that monopod extension. The screen size is a mixed bag for me. I mean, compact phones today should be around 6 inches. I would understand 10 years ago if the screen is only a second thought because smartphones before are just for communication. There's a lot of apps being developed today like games and productivity tools, a small computer on our pocket. 
The screen size of this phone is just okay but sometimes limiting because of the real estate, especially on browsing and social media. But I feel like the screen size of this phone is catering a wide range of consumer that don't really use phone as much as Gen Z today, probably working on a construction site that needs a rangefinder. Also for those travelers who wanted a smaller phone for hiking, heavy activity, or just any other consumer that would like to have a smaller screen phone. The one thing that annoys me is the size of the keyboard because I have a big hand so I always have errors while typing on this phone but you can always use the landscape mode on the screen or even use voice typing. I think the voice typing is really helpful and accurate on this phone but sometimes it feels weird when you're in public but that's just me. The design is really striking, this will get noticed for sure because of how it looks but on the good side, this phone is built like a tank. It has military grade protection like other tank series, this will be able to withstand the heaviest of conditions, all the ports are sealed and this can take drops even several feet high. There's also a lanyard area at the back if you wanted to hang this on your neck, a small nitty gritty details that provides a fun user experience. And lastly, battery life. Although this phone only has 5800 mAh battery, but with the screen size and the brightness of the screen, it's an easy two-day phone for me. Again, with the screen size, this kills my appetite of scrolling too much on my screen, even doing some gamings. This is more of a niche phone for travel if you want to enjoy the best moment of your life and still wanted to have a smartphone or people working on construction sites and doing hiking, but smartphones are just of a second thought. All in all, 8849 Tank Mini 1 is a really solid compact phone with its mid-range performing chipset, healthy storage capacity, passable cameras, and long battery life. Tank Mini 1 is not just a small niche phone, but a compact powerhouse. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to purchase this product, I will leave the link in the description below. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.